The book of the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 1. Judah forsakes the Lord. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Our Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider, our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backward, why should you be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devoured in your presence. And it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. God hates Judah's sacrifices. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot. Away with it is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when you spread forth your hands, I'll hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I'll not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Your sins shall be as white as snow. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well. Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment. Righteousness lodged in, but now murderers, thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water, thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Every one loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies and I'll turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin and I'll restore thy judges as at the first and thy counsellors as at the beginning. Afterward they shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness and the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed for they shall be ashamed of the oaks which ye have desired and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen for ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth and as a garden that hath no water and the strong shall be as tow and the maker of it as a spark and they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them.